Broadcasting from Studio 300, you're watching Holly Playbook. Welcome to this week's edition of Poly Playbook, where we recap and preview Cal Poly Athletics. I'm Alice Nedmans. This week, we preview softball's weekend series at Cal State Fullerton, and men's and women's, women's tennis head to the Big West Tournament. But first, baseball looks to move up in the Big West Conference against Long Beach State. After giving two games away against rival UC Santa Barbara, the Mustangs will look to bounce back against Long Beach State. Shortstop Peter Van Gansen has been on fire the past four games. Van Gansen smashed a three-run home run on Friday against the Gauchos and another three-run shot against Santa Clara on Tuesday. He has been placed on the Brooks Wallace Shortstop of the Year Award watch list. The Dirtbacks come, come into Baggett Stadium with a 21-15 and 15 record and a strong pitching staff. Cal Poly is 17-20 overall and 5-4 and in the Big West Conference. It's, it's much easier to get, so... Uh, but their strength lies in their starting pitching, and they've been as good as anybody out on the West Coast. The first game of the three-game series is Friday, April 24th at 6 p.m. at Baggett Stadium. After defeating the Dons at San Francisco on April 18th, the Cal Poly men's soccer team will host Cal State Bakersfield this Saturday at Spanos Stadium. The 6-0 win puts Cal Poly at 2-1, three matches through its five-match spring schedule. The Mustangs have not faced the Roadrunners since September of 2010. This will be the last home match for the Mustangs this spring, before they travel to face UC San Diego on May 9th. Kickoff is this Saturday at noon. The Cal Poly men's golf team is hosting its first conference men's golf championship since 2009 this weekend. The three-day competition starting Friday morning at 7.30, AM and will conclude Sunday at 2.30 p.m. Last year, the Mustangs finished eighth in last year's championship and returned three of the five golfers who competed in 2014. Of those three golfers, sophomore De Los Santos leads the team with a 73 scoring average. Cal Poly is the third seed in the nine-team field. After defeating UC Riverside 4-0 in Indian Wells, California, the Cal Poly men's tennis team will face UC Irvine. Partly in thanks to the seventh consecutive doubles win for sophomores Ben Donovan and Corey Pang, the Cal Poly men's tennis team advanced to the semifinal round of the Big West Tournament. Today, the Mustangs will face the number one seeded Anteaters. The last matchup between the two schools resulted in a 4-2 win for Cal Poly. Head coach Nick Carlos says his team is confident entering the tournament. Is that we're going to go in as the highest nationally ranked team in that tournament, but we will be the four seed. So, you know, numbers, seedings don't matter. We just got to go down there and play a little bit better tennis than what we have been. According to the Intercollegiate Tennis Association's April 21st rankings, UC Irvine is the 73rd ranked men's tennis team in Division I. The Mustangs, the tournament's fourth seed, will start play at 3 p.m. Coming off a 4-0 first round win versus UC Riverside on Thursday, the women's tennis team faced Long Beach State this morning in Indian Wells, California. Long Beach State ranked 40th in the most I recent ITA rankings. Cal Poly softball is coming off a series loss against Hawaii and will now travel to play at Cal State Fullerton over the weekend. The Mustangs are currently in a three-way tie for fourth place in the Big West with Cal State Fullerton and UC Davis. Expect Sierra Highland to continue to be on the mound for the Mustangs this weekend. The sophomore has tallied 210 strikeouts and a 2.08 ERA in 215 and the third innings pitched this year. First patch will be at 12 noon on Friday. The Cal Poly track and field team is traveling to Clovis for the Bulldog Invitational this Saturday. Junior Kendall Nielsen, who has jumped 40 feet 8.25 inches this year, will be competing in the triple jump. Junior Danielle Bryan, who placed third at last week's Mount Sac Invitational, will be high jumping. On the men's side, sophomore Joey Sanfilippo, who has the top times of both the 100 and 200 meters for the season, will be competing in both events. The meet will be tomorrow at 10 a.m. at the Veterans Memorial Stadium. Well, that's it for today's show. Thanks for watching, and make sure to tune in next Friday. And log on to mustangnews.net for continuous Cal Poly sports coverage. I'm Alice Nedmans. Have a great weekend.